الكتب بتختلف من الفن التشكيلي التصميم والموسيقى وممارساته الفنية بتتعدد من التصوير للديجيتال ورك الرسم والكولاج أنتوني روسيل فنان كيني بريطاني بيجمع بين السحر الأفريقي والتقنية الغربية مع تأثر واضح بالحياة البرية وحضارة المساي الغنية أعمال منشوفها حصريا ببيروت بمعرضه جديد ماري دادي بيلي بريم جالوري بهالطريق Maradadi in Swahili means pretty or beautiful. And it's a saying that we use quite often. If you like something and it's great, you say Maradadi. Io ni Maradadi, which means that is pretty. The art has been inspired by visiting all these different areas of Kenya. What you've got is hills, you've got mountains, you've got seas, you've got deserts, you've got grasslands. So I prefer the wilderness because I get a feel for it and uh, you meet the people. And they live side by side with wildlife. So they don't kill it, they don't eat it. They live with it. Female form, the beauty, is very much to me part of Africa. If you look at the form of a woman, and you look at the landscape, they are very synonymous, they go together. Everything that I get that comes to me, I will use in the art at some time. It's stored in the coconut, I call it, the bank. You know. This is called Skull Woman. It's a friend of mine, a Brazilian model, and uh, shot in Africa. It's very, very powerful, but I wanted to give it more depth and feeling. So I put in some pendants, as you can see here, from Ethiopia, some guinea fowl feathers in here. And these little guys here uh, are made by the Maasai people. They're aluminium pots, and they recycled it. A few old coins, a bit of fabric work, gold paint, and here we got some more fabric. How I start with a bit of art is I'll, the, the picture's there already, and that's the basis for the mixed media that'll come on top of it. So I start with that and look at it and go, okay, put a bit of this on there, put a bit of that. And in here I did some writing, cover her briefness in singing, close her with intricate faint birds, because I think see, it's very sweet. That's an African uh, proverb. I was born in Kenya, and uh, my artistic path is a lot of things. It started with my father, who was a professional hunter. So we grew up, you know, uh, in camp, in the bush, two of us, my brother, twin brother. And uh, then I went to London and uh, went to school there. I had this uh, interest in design. That was my first thing. Champoli Lodge is one of the things that I designed and it was all open plan. So I wanted people to feel that they're in the element but safe. So the passion started with architecture and then went on to all the other stuff and uh, music also comes into it. So I blend it all and mix it all up, yeah. It's very emotional, you know, it's how you feel. This one here, is quite important to me because the collage work is all very, very, very old photos that I took 20 or 30 years ago. And the woman is Naja, who's a really good friend of mine. This picture is in, with tribes in the back. It's a night shot round a fire. And then a Maasai friend of mine, uh, you know they wear the red shuka or red uh, wrap? This is his wrap, as he had for many, many years. And he said, oh, I don't want this anymore. I said, I'll take it. So I took it and I did all this, ripped it up, put this fabric in for effect. And also, I didn't put any glass on this one because I want people to come and feel it. There's butterfly wings in here, feathers again, velvet in here. And then we had a makeup artist who did the tribal marks on her face. And I think the, the fabric around it just kicks it off. My nanny was a Kikuyu, so I speak a bit of Kikuyu. And then I am Maasai because my father's on safari, so a little bit of Maasai. So there's 45 different tribes and dialects there. So I've got a piece of each one so I can actually communicate 
with the people, the subjects I'm going to photograph, and uh, smile and say in their language, hey, how are you doing? You know? And they go, wow, you speak, yes, yeah, sure, you know. This is um, called Eye of the Storm. The uh, photograph is basically two zebra stallions fighting, and they're fighting over water. And then there's a leopard that used to come also to the water hole, and that's in there. So it's really quite chaotic what goes on in a water hole, and I try to get that in there. And the moment of peace uh, is the eye. So in order to kick that out, I put some dot work in it. I put in some collage work in here. And the collage work, I put scratch work on here, written a few things here, and our guy, the warrior I was talking about over there is here, Ngatia Oli Sempeta is his name. So he's in the picture too, because he's very iconic to me. You know, we had a lot of fun in the bush together. Wildlife is habituated to the car. So you have a car full of tourists and the giraffe comes along or the zebra or the lion and goes, oh, it's just them. When you step out the car, you get a different reaction, completely different. The lion goes, what? Well, who are you? So that's what I want to shoot. It's dangerous at times, but you've got to know there's a distance, say 20 meters. And if you step out of that line, then it's like a, you're attacking the animal. So the animal either flees or stands to fight. So that's what I like. I go alone, I've got Ngatia, my warrior friend, he comes with me. He's so cool and casual, yeah, we'll walk up to it, no problem. This one here is one of my favorites. It's called uh, Lion Woman. And the idea of this is the person is being protected, the guardian is the lion. She's got quite a presence. Uh, well, I felt that when I photographed her and I thought, wow, there's a presence here. You can see it in her eyes. She looks at you, but she doesn't really look at you, you know, but she takes everything in. So I thought that was very nice. And then here, trailing down, is more stuff with more iconic West African pendants, little ones here. And then some paintwork, some splashes, acrylics I use. The big part of the art is, yes, it's uh, great to do the art, but it's also got a message that uh, we must all try and preserve what we've got in the natural world. The age of industries in Kenya right now, and it's just everywhere in the world, but there, especially in Africa, is the next big thing. So these little areas that are left for the wildlife are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. But I prefer to project something more positive and alive. And that's through my art, and my buildings, and my music, whatever. Whichever way it works, you know, and I feel good about doing it.